hi guys welcome back to queen varieties channel in today's episode i will show you how to make the authentic nigerian spiced diet or pancake this is a street food recipe and is exceptionally delicious don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload any video feel free to share this video with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it with thank you Today's video is going to be a very simple one. What I am fixing this morning is a breakfast recipe for my family. And what we are preparing is a Nigerian diet or Nigerian pancake recipe. This recipe is going to take a little twist, but it's very, very simple to put together. On my work surface, I have all the ingredients needed. Some salt, baking powder, and some water. In here, I have different kinds of vegetables. You can feel free to use any vegetable of your choice. What I have here is some carrots, scotch bonnet peppers onions red and yellow bell peppers four eggs sugar nutmeg and some milk and finally the all-purpose and flour so we are going to combine these ingredients together as you can see i've gone ahead to sift the flour i have always told you that it's very very important to sift your dry ingredients before you begin using them so now i'm going to include the sugar and i'll pass them all through this um, sieve Right now on the screen, you can see the required measurements, all the measurements on the screen. I will also be leaving them in my description section. Please check them out. So this is the salt. I'll just pour that. What so we're basically doing right now is to pour in all the dry ingredients. So just add the dry ingredients, mix and combine. We set it aside. So this is the reason why it is very important for you to see. If you can see those stones there, I'll use my hand and just then break them in particles and infuse it if you don't like nutmeg just leave the nutmeg you can leave it out if you want to add any flavor of your choice you can also go ahead and include that just take your time and combine all these ingredients very well so that you will have a uniform taste and flavor from the pancakes i've gone ahead to create a hole in the middle of this bowl here we are going to crack in the eggs very careful when you're cracking the eggs if you cannot do that you can just break it first of all mix it very well before you just pour it inside here so that you don't get in the eggshells inside this uh, mixture now i'm going to pour in the water finally i'll pour in the milk Mix everything to combine appropriately. In case I need more liquid, I will go forward and add that. So the wet liquid I added earlier on is not okay. I have a cup of water, so I'll begin to add it um, step by step because it, I just want um, a kind of a runny mixture. Okay, so so far I've added about um, one and a half cup of water. The first liquid I added was um, half cup, and now I added um, one cup. That is a uh, one and a half cup of uh, water. I'll still mix and combine to see if I've gotten the consistency that I'm looking for. So this is the consistency I'm having right now. It's still a bit um, thick in nature. So I'm going to add extra half cup of water. That means the quantity of water I'm using totally will be two cups. combine everything together i'll add the carrots the quantity of scotch bonnet pepper you use depends on you it's a little bit spicy so be very careful and here i'm using the bell peppers because it's going to introduce some sweetness to this um, recipe take your time and mix everything guys can you see how beautiful this um, bowl is looking <laughs> so i will taste and see if the salt we have here and the sugar we have here is balanced in nature Mmm, it's so nice. Point in time, I will begin to preheat my frying pan because uh, we are going over to the frying process. Everything is perfectly mixed. You can see that there is no lumps here. Yes, guys. And this is the consistency that we are having. You don't want it to be too thick. Okay, so we are going over to the frying process. Everything is perfectly ready now. What I'm going to do is to drop in a little quantity of oil inside the pot. 
you don't need to add too much oil you we'll just brush the surface of this frying pan with the oil just twist the pot so that everything will just go and circulate around it okay so we are going to allow it to set once it sets then we'll flip it so you're using a low heat to do this my cooker settings is between zero to number nine and i'm using number four or five to do this so please use a low heat so that um, it does not um, burn guys it's time to flip it after two to three minutes later you can notice some little bubbles at the surface if you look closely yes that is an indication that it is ready to flip having flipped it we're also going to allow it to toast or fry for like um, two to three minutes on the right side but please keep an eye on it because you don't want it to get bent this is the right time to flip it and friends this place smells incredibly amazing already my little girl is already dancing for the pancake <laughs> oh my god can you see how beautiful mm? can you see how beautiful that thing is looking right there this is what we will continue doing until all the pancakes or the diet is ready. Each time you want to scoop, just mix it, turn it around and then scoop it so that you have that same uniform taste in your pancakes. Okay? Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe. And if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload any videos. Feel free to share my videos guys. Share. Share this video with your friends, loved ones or anybody you want to share it with. Until I come your way next time, bye-bye.